Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I actually sat down and filmed, like, I don't know, all of those lipstick videos just took forever. They were kind of like exhausting. I still have like one more, I think, that's going up. Um, but yeah, that just took a while. Oh, if you see this little purple thing right here, that's just my doggy, and she's got one of my shirts on because for some reason, she has like really, really dry skin, and when she wears like her sweaters or whatever, it helps her not to scratch, but I didn't have a sweater laying around, so I just put my shirt on her, so that's what that situation is right back there. I'm also trying to play a little bit more of like the natural light today. I turned, I have my ring light on, but not very bright because, I don't know, I just don't want to get like washed out. I want the colors to be more true to what they are. Since I haven't really filmed in a while, I thought it would be fun just to sit down and play with makeup. I have a bunch of new stuff. Some of it's new, like actually new, and some of it is stuff that is just new to me that I just finally have purchased. So I'll let you know, obviously I'm gonna show all the products. So let's just play with some makeup, chat a little bit. Um, yeah, I really just haven't sat down and played with makeup in a while, so I'm very excited. So I'm gonna start off by putting on my new, I don't know if it's new in general, but it's new to me. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Glaze. So this is amazing. I love the applicator, it's like a stainless steel kind of tip and um it's very cooling it just feels so good on the lips it has like a um hemp derived like cannabis oil base to it which is really moisturizing and just really nice and it smells good so i've been putting this on like to start off my makeup and then i wipe it off before i put on like any lip products and a lot of this stuff i have been like trying over the past week or two. Um, some things I just bought like yesterday, so that'll be, those will be first impressions. But I think we should do my eyes first because I have a new eyeshadow palette and I don't know what the fallout situation is going to be like. So I'm just going to go on with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as usual. So the palette that we're going to be using today is not new at all. It came out probably a few months ago, but I just got it yesterday at Ulta because it was part of their 21 Days of Beauty and it was 50% off. So I was like, hell yeah. When it first came out, I was kind of like, eh. It was $55 originally for an eyeshadow palette. And I just wasn't like super in love. Like I thought it was pretty, but you know. So then of course when it was on sale, I was like, okay, well now it's justifiable. So I got the Dose of Colors Friendcation Palette, Desi Times Katie. I'm so excited to use this. I have heard like mixed reviews, which was another reason why I didn't really like go for it because it wasn't like overwhelming good reviews. So I wasn't too sure, but this is the outside. It's freaking stunning. So nice and luxurious. And then this is the inside of the palette. So you have a bunch of nice like neutral mattes. You have some really intense colors and then some really nice like basic lid colors. So I'm really excited. I have no idea what we're gonna create today. I'm gonna put that out there. It also has a nice mirror, which is great. So we don't need this guy, but let's just kind of like jump into it. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I okay, so we are gonna start with this shade right here. I'm just gonna use that to kind of set my base a little bit. I don't wanna go too crazy with this and it actually might be a little too dark, so we'll see. Yeah, this is gonna be more of a transition shade on me, I think. I have heard that the mattes blend out really nicely and that they're really buttery, so. That's a plus. The color that like first caught my eye, which, which was this champagne color here, that one I was like, oh my God, I need that palette just for that color. But then I swatched it and it was very sheer. It's just like a wash of color it's not very intense so i wasn't too sure how i would want to play with that but we're gonna play with it today right so now i'm gonna go into the next shade which i think is necessary right here the colors are on the back but i always have issues like matching up like is this basic or a moment using the same brush by the way this is the smith 232 just buffing this out oh that's really pretty That is beautiful. They look a little darker on the eye than they do in the pan, honestly. Now we're gonna go in with the Smith 247, just a little bit smaller. And let's take, um, I just wanna use like all of the colors. I wanna start with this one and then maybe we'll go into the burgundy and then maybe even the darker brown, but let's start with that warm, medium brownish red shade. Work this 
um, you know, I kind of want to do like a cheater halo eye today. Let's put this all over the lid. You might also hear my dog snoring next to me, so apologies. But isn't a dog snoring so much cuter than like your loved one snoring? So this is like a very wearable smoky eye. You can kind of stop here if you wanted to do something like that. We're gonna amp it up a little bit. I'm going in with the same exact brush. I'm gonna just go straight into the darkest brown here, which I think is jeans. I don't know. Just kind of getting it right on the end of the brush. We're gonna focus this in the outer corner and the inner corner. That's gorgeous. I'm actually just gonna focus on the outer corner first, then use a little bit of a smaller brush for the inner corner just so I can be more precise. I'm gonna use this brush from Luxie. It's their 131 Mini Angled for the inner corner. This brush is good for this part because it really gets right in there. And then I'm just going in with the fluffiest brush and the second brown color necessary and blending out our edges. And then I want to take a little bit of the cranberry shade right here, which is Girl by this one, and just put a touch of that onto the inner and outer corner. I just want to warm it up a little bit with that color. I don't know if you can see that, but the darkest color I only put on the outer and inner corner. I didn't connect it, but now I'm using that cranberry shade to connect them in the middle. And then we're going to take this one right here, which I think is churro, maybe. And I'm just going to use my finger first. I want to see how it applies like that. They feel almost like moussey wet. They feel really cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look straight into the mirror. With a halo eye, you want the lightest color to be right over your iris, people think, the color part. So you don't want to like tilt your head, you don't want to look down, you want to look straight ahead. And just place a little bit of the color where you need it, and then you can go in and like tilt, look down if you need to. But you just want to get the application in the right spot first, and then move forward. So, so see how that is like perfectly placed right over my green eyeball. Now we can go in, tilt back a little bit, add some more. And that color is literally stunning. So I'm adding the most color right in the center, then taking whatever's left over on my finger and blending out the edges. It looks way more gold on the eye than in the palette. In the palette it looks very like just champagne-y, but on the eye it's like yellow gold. And it applies amazingly with the finger. So that's a plus. I'm just gonna blend over just the top, just cause I got a little bit of glitter up in the crease that I don't really want. And you can go over the edges a tiny bit as well, but I think we got a pretty good blend just with our finger and I love that, so pretty. I'm just using a makeup wipe to clean up under my eyes as usual, just because there was a little bit of you know, a little messiness. I'm pretty messy, so I like to go in with a wipe. Ignore the phone in the background, please. I'm not answering that. I don't even use the house phone. There's no inner corner shade or brow bone highlight in the palette, so I'm gonna leave it be for now. We'll use my like actual highlight that I'm gonna use on my face for that kind of stuff. I have a ton of new face products I'm so excited to use. I've been using a few of them here and there, but some of them are brand new, so I'm very excited. We're going to start with some primer. Um, as you guys know, I have been trying out and using the um, Smashbox Primerizer. But yesterday, I went to Ulta and I saw that Smashbox came out with like a limited edition Smashbox plus the Hoodwitch Bona Finish Crystallized Primerizer. And I literally couldn't not buy it. It's a shimmering primer and moisturizer in one. This is the box, but I'm going to show you the actual product because that's the most important part. This is co-created with Brie Luna, the Hood Witch. I've never heard of her, but you know, if she can make something this gorgeous, then 
I might have to give her a follow. So this is a Smashbox Crystallized Primer Primerizer. Crystallized Primerizer. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having trouble saying, saying that. So we're just gonna work this in. Hopefully it looks good. I've actually never used this. I swatched it at the store on my hand and looked super glowy. It definitely adds like a subtle glow to the skin that I think that I think will look really nice just like kind of peeking through foundation rather than doing like a super glowy foundation this will kind of just peek through I really like that hopefully it does wear well with the actual products that I'm gonna put on my face so we'll see I had a few other face products like primers that I've been testing out that I did just want to mention I'm obviously not gonna put multiple primers on my face but honorable mentions are okay right I got a little sample size of the hourglass veil mineral primer when I placed a Sephora order and I used it once and I loved it I felt like my skin looked so smooth and then something else that I've been using that I probably could have put on with this but I just didn't want to like be too glowy and oily this is the elf plus glow radiant moisturizer and this is actually really freaking stunning like I think it makes my skin feel so plump it smells really good it does add a little bit of a glow so a nice drugstore option for sure all right let's move on to foundation now the past few days I've actually been going very light with my face makeup I actually haven't even been wearing foundation um, I've just been doing like concealer and then a face powder so I was gonna do that today because that's what I've been doing but I figured I'd put on like a tiny tiny bit of my L'Oreal infallible pro glow foundation I'm in the shade 202 this is one of my favorite lightweight glowy foundations so I figured I'd put a little bit on just so that the rest of my face products really do have like a nice base to stick to because I have some really fun face products like highlight, bronzer, things like that, blush that I want to use. So I figured I would do a little sun sun. We're going to go very light with this though. I don't want too much coverage. And I'm using my It Cosmetics Love Beautifully brush. I do feel like the foundation is blending really nicely over this primer. So. So far, so good. I feel like with glowy primers though, it's more about like the long wear. Like how's it gonna look later in the day? Is it gonna make my makeup like melt off my face? Is it gonna just give it nice, like a nice glowy effect? Or is it gonna ruin everything? Okay, now we're gonna do some concealer. I'm just gonna go with my tried and true Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. I'm in the shade Custard. Love this little guy, so good. Only a tiny bit under the eyes because it is super full coverage. I've been using these two brushes for concealer the past few days. This is the Morphe G38. I kind of use this to like quickly blend and then I use the Real Techniques contour brush to do a little bit more blending. I don't know, I'm just being very extra for no reason. But this brush is nice and dense so I can really like pat and press the product in. And then the other brush is a little bit, um, the hairs are, like glued a little bit more loosely so it does a little bit more blending. And then for powder, I'm actually gonna go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium. Looks like this, it actually has like color to it. It's not a translucent powder at all. So I either like to do on like the really light days, I'll do like a face primer or like that e.l.f. plus moisturizer type of thing. I'll do concealer and then just a colored face powder. And it just gives like that little bit of coverage and those products that you like the primer or the moisturizer that you put on help for it to stick. But it's just been adding, it's just been like a nice little light coverage day. Today, since I only did a little bit of foundation, I am still gonna use this to add a little bit of coverage and to set everything in place. And I'm just using this big Morphe E41 brush. I've always, always, always loved the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It's one of my like classic go-to products. I think it's stunning. It just gives the skin a really nice finish. It's not too powdery, it still looks natural. Oh, I love it. So good, so good. Definitely one of my like all-time favorite products ever, which is a big statement. I don't have any new bronzers. I've just been using my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer, which is, you know, stunning. The new thing that I have been doing though is taking the Morphe M406 to apply this. This is a dual fiber brush. I actually got the idea from Julia Havens and I'm obsessed. Like, 
this applies my bronzer so beautifully and just so like airbrushed and blown out. It's not too harsh, it's so pretty. Obsessed. Duo fiber brushes are really great for like any face makeup, even blush, because you have very sparse bristles on the end here and then it's a little bit denser inside. So what I like to do is actually press down in the palette kind of hard to get down to that second layer so all the product is there and then the sparser bristles are just being used to kind of blend and make it a little bit more blown out rather than having just a very dense brush which would make a very sharp intense line. I love this. And then going along with the same kind of like blown out natural face brushes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but basically this is what I've been doing a lot lately where instead of like harsh lines all over my face, I'm doing a little bit more of like a natural flush on the face. I have a new blush palette that I'm so excited about. So gorgeous. This is the Jouer Bouquet D'Amour six shade blush palette. So these are absolutely gorgeous. I haven't used the orange yet. I don't know if I'm going to get any use out of that. If I do end up putting this in my makeup kit, like my pro kit, I probably will because I'm working on my, I'm looking at like more skin tones so that would be a little bit more wearable probably for someone else but I've been actually mixing the shades Marigold and Adore Me and that's been making like a really nice blush color. I might mix in a little bit of Nomi today because I haven't really tapped into that pink yet and I think that would be really pretty so I'm gonna mix all three because you know why not. And I'm using my Morphe M500. This is like a very loose brush. It's not dense at all so it's going to give a really nice wash of color rather than like an intense to positive color on the face. Mm, stunning, stunning, stunning. I like adding that little bit of pink in there. It kind of makes a little bit flirtier, cuter. The mirror on here, it's nice and big but it's kind of like one of those circus mirrors. Like it's making my face look a little weird. I guess it, actually, okay. If I hold it up nice and close it looks better. From far away, it's like I'm making my face look really weird. <laughs> just, just a little note there. And then I have a new highlight. Oh my god, you guys! Oh my god, I'm so excited for this baby. This is the Melt Cosmetics Stargazer Highlight. Oh, so pretty. Um, so I'm gonna go into my Eco Tools Precision Highlight Brush. This has been one of my favorites lately, and we're just gonna put this on our face. So pretty. So this I actually got when I went to IBS in New York. Um, Friends Beauty had a booth there and they sell Melt, so I had to grab that. I was so excited that they had it. So to set all of this in place, we're gonna be using, oh my god, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with this. I've been using it for the past couple weeks and I really like it. This is the e.l.f. Plus Glow Dewy Mist. So this is from the same line as that other e.l.f. Plus thing that I showed you, the moisturizer, but this is their Glowy Mist. It has coconut and argan oil. It hydrates, it boosts glow. It definitely is completely different from the other like setting sprays and things that I own. This leaves you with a very like tacky, kind of sticky finish, but you look super glowy. So it just depends on kind of what you want. If you want something that's gonna set you in place and like make like lock it in, this might not be the setting mist for you, but on the days where I want to feel like my skin is breathing and like not super dried out or anything, I like to use this. It has a pretty good mist for like a drugstore spray. You do get some like larger water droplets on your face. I just go in with my beauty blender or something and blend it out. It's not that big of an issue. But yeah, I've been really loving this. It's really affordable, so let's spray ourselves. Uh, I love it. And I don't think we have any water droplets today, so. Thank you, thank you. My skin looks wet, because it is. like It's a very, very like glowy mist. It's not gonna lock it in. It might, if you're oily, you probably won't like this, because like I said, throughout the day, it definitely feels like tacky. It's not set down, dried down, all that kind of stuff. So let's finish off the eyeshadow. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with my E18 from Morphe, and we'll just take um, a mixture of the cranberry shade and the dark brown to start off. Kind of work this onto the lower lash line, just a tiny bit of product, because it is very pigmented. I'm gonna bring this pretty low 
kind of under my eye bag. Um, I know a lot of people, well, I don't know about a lot of people, but some people like to kind of mimic the halo eye on top on the bottom by putting that lighter shade in the middle on the lower lash line as well. I'm not crazy about that look, on myself at least, so I'm not gonna do that. And then we can go in with the Morphe 240, I mean, wow, Smith 247. I just wiped it off a little bit and I'm going in with the shade Necessary, Necessary, and just very lightly blending over the edges on the lower lash line. This is gonna really blow out the lower lash line, so just be careful, because you don't wanna use too much product and have it be like too crazy. Unless you're going for that. Make sure you connect the top to the bottom, that's very important as well. I'm gonna go in with the biggest blending brush, the 232, and just go over everything. Oh, I am obsessed with this look. So pretty, these shadows are gorgeous. I love the wash of gold on the lid, and I didn't do like a very, a very sharp halo eye where it's like, boxes you know I did the one that's more like just a wash of the gold and that's we did like a cheater halo eye too by putting that brown all over the lid it made it a little bit easier than trying to like map out exactly like all three sections with the shadows that's a little bit complicated so I did the easy route I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows I don't have any new products for brows I'm just using my Anastasia brow whiz and my clear brow gel I think I've use these on my channel before so I'm just gonna do my brows quick and then we'll come back for the rest of the face okay we've done the brows see how I'm just kind of getting like glowier and glowier as this setting spray sets I'm just gonna go in I didn't add any product to my powder brush but I'm just gonna use what's left over and just kind of press it into the areas that are looking extra shiny because I just know that those are gonna get shinier and shinier throughout the day I'm just gonna kind of combat that but I want my cheekbones to still be glowy so we're just doing a little bit of extra setting just in like this area here where I know I get the most oily um let's do some mascara I actually do have a new mascara that I'm really excited about I've used it a few times um I'm, I'm excited about it like it's cool but first of all I don't, if you guys have tried this mascara and you've had the same experience let me know to me, it smells like it is 15 years old and has completely gone bad. I can smell it on my eyes throughout the day, which is kind of weird. And yeah, I don't know. That just kind of turns me off from it, but it does look pretty good. It's really dark and black. The one that I'm talking about, by the way, let me just tell you, is the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. So it looks like this. The wand is just kind of like straight. It's definitely feathery. You can see that there's like different lengths of, um, bristles in there. So it gives a really nice feathery look. Doesn't add like too much length or volume. It's definitely more natural compared to some other mascaras. I definitely still love my Hourglass Caution Mascara the most. It's so pretty, but I have been enjoying this. So we're going to use it today for the sake of trying new things. But yeah, let me know if yours, if you have this, or if you've tried it, whatever, if yours smells bad, because I don't know what the deal is. Should I return it? Ugh. I like how it separates my lashes, though. Definitely, like, very feathery. It looks really nice on the lower lash line. I'm pretty happy with it. I do have to do two coats, at least, because one coat just is too natural for me. Especially since I don't wear falsies. With two coats, it's definitely way better, adds a lot more volume and length. You guys have seen me with my Hourglass Caution Mascara, like that thing gives me crazy length on my lashes, it's insane. Definitely pretty, I just gotta figure out what that smell is about, like is it supposed to be like that? Is mine like defective? I don't know. Or is that, like, I just don't get it, because I literally smell it throughout the day. Let's do lips, let's finish off this look. I just wiped the lip glaze off a little bit and we're actually gonna be using a lip liner first. I usually don't use lip liner, I'm kinda weird, but I bought a Pat McGrath Labs Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade Contour. So it's a very natural shade, it kinda matches my lips. Well, it's a little bit more peachy brown than my lip color, but it gives like a really nice natural contour to the lips. So I really like this. Oh, and the formula. The formula I'm obsessed with, it's like literally a gel formula and it feels tacky kind of tacky on the lips so I feel like it's definitely gonna last a long time I 
feel like this is a great lip pencil to overline with because it does look so natural and just like your lips. It really gives that contoured lip look. It's really cool. For lipstick, I bought a new lip color that I, I want to wear today, but it doesn't really go well with the lip liner. It's not really in the same color family. If you are to get this lip liner, one of my favorite lipsticks that I've been wearing with it a lot is um, Morphe Virgin. It's their liquid lip. It's a very like nice peachy nude. Love that combo. It lasts a really long time, but for the sake of the video, since we are trying my new products, we're going to be using the Milk Makeup New Lipstick. They came out with new lipsticks, and this is in the shade Cream. By the way, love the magnetic packaging and the fact that this has the name of the lipstick there. That's very unique. But this one is a nice, like, rosy, pinky, peachy nude. Really pretty. It doesn't match this lip liner at all, but we're just going to say screw it, and we're just going to put it on because it's new, it's beautiful, and I want to play. In order to make it work with the lip liner, I'm really just focusing it on the inner rim of my lips and then letting it blend into the lip liner so it's kind of ombre. These new lipsticks are so creamy and pigmented. They feel so good on the lips. I definitely want to get more shades because it's a really, really good formula. It's a little pricey, but if it's good, it's kind of worth it, right? I'm kind of like very happy with everything we tried out today. I don't think there's anything that I'm not happy with. I'm really digging this glowy skin, subtle halo eye, pinky nude lip combo. Really wearable, but a little extra glam, that like natural glam look. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you've tried any of these products and you like them or you don't like them or whatever, or you have any other product rec recommendations, I'm always looking for recommendations because I just love makeup so much. Let me know down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Hit the little bell if you want to be notified when I post a video. And finally, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know that and I'll make more of them just like this. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.